one thing i've tried to record this video like uh, three times and uh just something was just going off i don't know why but anyway i bet uh, satan didn't want me to speak about how the kingdom will be now i'm sure there are many people who worry about their pets and they say will uh Will I see my pets in heaven? Will I see my dog? Will I see my cat? All the pets that I love, will I see them again in heaven? Or oh, this is the end of it. Will they come with me? And uh, others are also saying, what about my hobbies? The things that I really loved doing. Will I do them again now? I loved maybe swimming. I loved uh, planting some, you know, my, my small garden. I, I loved this and that. Will, will I be able to do these hobbies again? Or will it just be singing and praising God and dancing and nothing else? Now, I want to tell you something about the pets. And also, I'll tell you about uh, our hobbies. And uh, starting with pets, many people are afraid because there's this verse in uh, Ecclesiastes 3.21 which says, who knows the spirit of man that goes upward? Now, this meaning, the spirit of man goes up to heaven. And the spirit of the beast goes downward to the earth. So now, if one is going to heaven and the other one is going down, it means the beasts, animals, our pets, they are going back to the earth, to the ground, and that's it. And we'll never see them again in heaven. Now, why does God have to do this? We love our pets. But uh, let me tell you something. God has a very, very good plan for you. Now, let me show you what he tells us in the book of Isaiah. Uh, in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah uh, 65, 17. 65, 17. It tells us the plans God has for our pets and our animals and our hobbies. Now, see. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth. And the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. Mm -hmm. Now he's saying that we'll not remember the old things. So meaning, we may not even remember the pets that we have. Why? Why will they not come into our minds? Because we will have even much better things ahead. It will be so much beautiful ahead that you'll not even remember the former things. You'll not even remember. Let me show you. Yes, we'll be having pets. We'll be having hobbies. But God has not given us specifics of exactly what kind of pets there will be. Okay? But he has just given us a hint of some of them. Okay? So there will be probably much more. But he's given us a hint of just a, a, a couple of them. Let's see verse 21. What it says. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. So you see, people will be planting, you know, building houses. There will be some hobbies. People will be doing some things. They shall not build in another inhabit. Like uh, the way it's done nowadays. Like here in Africa, most of the time, when uh, you go and build your house and then uh, the, the government comes and says, No, we want to take that land because we want to build a, a railway station or we want to grab and do some things or the politicians are doing. So it, it will not be like that. You'll be building and inhabiting your own uh, place. They shall not plant in another eat. For as the days of a tree are, are the days of my people. And mine elect shall enjoy, long enjoy the work of your hands, of their hands. So right now, we don't really enjoy the work of our hands. We're working, but we're not seeing the fruits. Because, uh, one, this earth has been cast from Adam, the time of Adam, it was cast. So we, we are not really enjoying as it may it should be. But that time, in the kingdom of heaven, because the kingdom of heaven will be here on earth, and later on, it will be dismantled and will be, you know, God will, will create a new heaven and a new earth and, and uh, different things. But he says that most of these things that we really like, we will do them. We are going to do them. See, see verse 25, it talks about pets. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The wolf and the lamb. Think about that. And the lion shall eat straw like a bullock. So they'll be eating grass. Lions. And the dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt or destroy in my holy mountain, says the Lord. So n none of these animals will be able to hurt you or harm you in any way. They will not harm you in any way. So you may ask, 
These are just spoken about how they'll be. So will we be playing with these animals? Yes. Yes. See. Uh, see what the Bible says in Isaiah 11 uh, from verse uh, 6. See what the Bible says here. It gives us assurance that we'll have even better, better, sorry, I just said uh, uh, Isaiah 6, 11. Then say, uh, am I lost? 11, 6. Ah, sometimes. <laughs> Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 11, uh, 6. Yes, that's, that's, that's what I was looking for. See what kids will be doing. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. And the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. Wow, wow. So a wolf and a lamb will sit together and we'll also see a, a little child leading these great animals so it means we will have new pets we will be enjoying different ways different things the way we used to enjoy here pets will be th think about have you ever seen these videos uh, from um, uh, Dubai, you see those uh, royals in Dubai trying to have uh, leopards and uh, you know things like that as pets and you ask wow how do they do it? I think these guys read the Bible sometimes or they're inspired by the Bible concerning the things which the Bible says how people will uh, uh, be together playing with these animals and if uh, kids will be playing with all this then it means they'll also be games between themselves they'll also be playing between themselves and uh, uh, everybody will be doing something others planting others are playing others are doing different things you know so there'll be hobbies yes there'll be hobbies you know families will be building together let me show you something here let me show you something here uh, verse 8 it says and the suckling child shall play on the hole of an of the asp and the wind child shall put his hand on the cockradis then. Wow. Wow. This will be so, so great. People will be doing different things, building, farming, you know, and all that. And let me show you something else here as I, as I wind up. Eh? The Bible has already told us that uh, the former things will not be remembered, okay? Let's see. Revelation 21 from verse 1, what it, say, it tells us here. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Okay, so he has created new things. And something here he will do for those who are still pitying about their old pets and their old things, and maybe some lost relatives, and you, and you say, oh, I loved my friend, but you know, it didn't happen. God will wipe all tears from their eyes. Every tear from everything that you've lost. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things have passed away. Everything will have passed away. You'll not even remember it. Behold, I make all things new. Everything he makes new. New pets, new ideas, new hobbies, new things. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. So the new heaven and the new earth will really be interesting. There'll be a lot, a lot, a lot of new stuff. People will be doing different things from what they used to do. Think about you playing here and Jesus is here and uh, there is a lion here and some fruits. And uh, Think about this. So beautiful, huh? Think about this. A lion there, some, you know, a gazelle here, some nice rivers here. There's no contamination like we have in these days. Eh? A lot of fun. A lot of the good things. A lot of good things. And I, I, I think God has, has uh, explained this over and over again. So that we can focus on the days to come and not focus on here. And if you're out there and you're still not saved and you're wondering, okay, so uh, will I also be a partaker of this? The gospel is the one which can take you here and make you be saved. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. 
It explains how that Christ died for our sins. He was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. If you believe the gospel, then all this is for you. It's waiting you. You will enjoy, you'll have a good time in heaven. The gospel is what saves you. The gospel means good news. Good news about what? How, what Jesus did for you. Jesus died for your sins so that you can be reconciled with God. Because from the time of Adam, man and God, in some way, they have been enemies because of sin. God hates sin. But the only way you can be reconciled to God is through the blood of Jesus Christ, which was shed for you. If you believe that Jesus died for you, then you're saved, sealed, and sanctified. Hope this has been a blessing to you. Hope it has encouraged you in one way or another. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share the video to other people so that they can hear. And as well, you can also subscribe so that you can get new updates. We always do new updates every day so that you can be edified and you can love God even much more. God bless you and have a blessed time.